What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another day of trading, another day, another Delta. It is Friday, February 23rd, 10 minutes before the market close here on the Pacific West Coast. I've been having a problem, guys. Rivian definitely threw me under the water. I tried to make a roll yesterday, and sure enough, Rivian, the second day after earnings, is down another 10, 11, or 12 percent. So Let's hop up in there and do a quick review and some trade management because, guys, I have to keep this thing alive. I do not want to lock in a loss. I'm being stubborn, so let's hop in. All right, guys. <clears throat> so let me just go down the list before I get too carried away. So I threw on the earnings trade for, let's go over, what was it? Um, what did we do? We did... Etsy. So we did Etsy. So let's review that. So I didn't make a trade review yesterday. I had too much, too much stuff going on. So <clears throat> let's do Etsy. So I basically threw on an iron condor, or excuse me, I threw on a short put spread the day before earnings. Sure enough, we got a down move. Let's see here. So Etsy, we got a down move after earnings. And then today, what do you know? If I would have held, I would have made the money. But you'll see here, guys. I pretty much closed this for a one cent loser. So pretty much a scratch. So factoring in commissions, I probably lost like three, three and a half dollars. But my reasoning was I only collected 18 cents. I didn't want to keep enough. I didn't want to keep too much risk on the table in case Etsy did not come back up because we only had two days to go when I put this on. So I closed it yesterday, Thursday, so the contract expires today. So hindsight's twenty twenty, but I basically wanted to manage the risk because if we did so with Rivian, if you'll see here, Rivian is the one I should have closed yesterday and I should have kept Etsy on, but that's the name of the game. All right, guys, look here. I put on the strangle 20 and a half, 12 put. So 20 and a half call, 12 put we got a big move yesterday down so you'll you'll see here 12 put blew through that okay and then today guys <laughs> we're down 11.7 percent let's just call it what 11 and a half almost 12 percent so between let's let's round up to 12 percent so i try to keep this thing alive i ended up rolling from the nearest basically this weekly into a short put for now we have 21 days to go. So I rolled out and down. So you'll see here, I basically bought back the 20 and a half call and the 12, what was it? The 12 put I think we had initially, the 12 put, okay. And then I rolled it out here to this new cycle and I rolled down from the 12 to the 11 and a half put because I, I had a feeling <laughs> Rivian might go down some more, but I did not think it was gonna go down this much more. So. What can we do now, guys? What can we do now? We can sell a call, which I will for sure do, whether that's in this current cycle. So selling the 15 delta, I collect an extra 15 cent in credit, which actually increases my break even. Or do we roll this out in time and throw on a call to keep this base, turn this into a strangle? So Let's see what it looks like. If we go to the next monthly cycle, they, they have a 10, so 54 cent debit if I roll it because I don't necessarily want to roll up to the 12 and a half strike. So if I roll it down to the 10 and put on, guys, I won't be able to roll this for a credit, which kind of is not what we want to do because we only have here 49 cent total credit. So 49 minus 29 cents, I mean, <laughs> we're going to be in this strangle for only 20 cents. It's not worth it. So let's see here if we got the 42 level, or excuse me, the 42 day cycle right here, this weekly, we can roll it. Uh, let me, sorry guys, let me, I have to buy back that. So we roll it, collect an 11 cent debit to roll it out in time. And then here, if we want to, we can actually pick up a few more cents. So let's say 14 level, right? So I don't know. 
I don't know, you know, if that gives me enough room to the upside, but it's something I might have to do. I mean, you'll see here this kind of bothers me here on the 11 strike. You'll see here there's a huge spread between the bid and the ask on the put side. It could be probably that it is a weekly. So let's see what it looks like here on the 34 day. This one looks a little bit, no, it's about the same situation, guys, but we have the 10 and a half here. It's only about six cents wide, which isn't too bad. So let's see if we want to do the same $14 strike on the call, and then let's buy back this put. So we're still, man, guys, we're still doing a 30 cent debit. What we can do is turn this thing into a straddle. The reason why I wouldn't want to do it on this Rivian stock is because it is somewhat of a volatile stock. I mean, more so than somewhat because it is an EV stock. So I do want to give myself more room to the upside. I'm thinking maybe guys, maybe I will let this thing sit. I was going to sell the potential $14 strike. So maybe on the longer dated contract. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's just put on the 14 call and we can collect an extra 10 cents in credit. Let's see. Um, I think we should, I mean, guys, we have to like pop back up pretty. I mean, I don't know. We, we can figure it out because look, you know, here it drops. I'm not sure guys, it's it's a tough call, it's a tough call. So, you know what, for now, let's just see how the weekend turns out. Worst case scenario, if this gets any worse, I'll roll it out in time and just keep the same strike, if I can. So let's just chart this real fast so we know the break evens. So I'm gonna throw on, so it's 11 and a half put, so minus 49 cents, so my break even now is, let's call it, what is it, $11 and one penny, 11.01. So let's chart that out. We got 11, oh, sorry guys, 11.01, that's the break even, so I'm gonna put this pink color. And then we'll do another one for the actual $11 strike. And then we threw this on right before earnings. Look guys, you'll see, look at that. It's, they're so, they're so, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, I, guys, that was my mistake. It was 11 and a half, not 11. That was my bad. So let's do 11 and a half. Boom. Wow, perfect. And then we sold it, not today, not yesterday, but the day before, right at the close. So you see here, 221. So here's 221, I like to put it here. So we know, boom, I sold it right before the close. So we're, you know, well, let's see, let's give it another day. All right, let's give it the weekend. Last, I got two, a minute and a half before the market closes. So nothing to do here in FXI, guys. Uh, let's put on the 50, percent GTC 2126 2126 we got that on GDX uh, nothing to do here guys 2431 no chart changes 2431 Intel guys we are getting a move in our favor I think, but not really. So let's let this go again um, over the weekend, maybe a few more days. We are defined risk, so I'm not too concerned right now. IWM, guys, we are nearly there. Seven cents, we need more, and we will close this bad boy. Let's let it ride. Rivian, we just uh, discussed. SPY, S-P-Y. Guys, give us another down move. All right, give us another down move. So we'll see. Lastly here, we got TLT. 
TLT, we are getting the move we need. We're almost back to uh, basically back to where we need to be. So that's it for today, guys. I'm not going to do any, any other trading. There's the bell. So that's all I have for you today, guys. As always, if you like this video, please give me a big fat thumbs up so I know I am doing a good job. Any questions, comments, trade ideas, ideas in general, anything you're working on, throw them in the comments down below. I love learning with you all as I hope you love learning with me. If you haven't yet already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos coming out. And very much appreciate you guys. Until next time, take care.